Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones and joined in the studio this hour by some gentlemen from YCTV. We've had some ladies from YCTV, but I've got Andrew and Steven over here representing the boys. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah? Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, how have you guys uh, been enjoying your summer break? It has been fantastic. Yeah? Like, I um, know that Andrew here has been doing the summer hire program. Very cool. Andrew, is, has this been your first job doing the summer hire? Actually, no. It's been my second. I oh. used to work at the Super Gym. Ooh, Super Gym. I am so jealous of the Super Gym over at Camp Humphreys. You have no idea. So just you saying Super Gym has ignited rage within me. So you're going to have to enjoy that for the rest of the show. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about lots of cool stuff with Andrew and Steven. Keystone and Torch Club over there at Camp Humphreys uh, Youth Center, the mock trial team, some trips that they have going on, all sorts of stuff to get to. So stay tuned. and Steven from YCTV in the studio with me and we're going to talk about some club opportunities that are available over at Camp Humphreys for youth and teens and Andrew you were just getting kind of a brief from is is she the Keystone Vice President? She is the Keystone Vice President Kate Caberti. Yeah so send a shout out to Kate here in the studio getting Andrew all learned up on Keystone Club so tell us a little bit about what the Keystone Club over at Camp Humphreys is. So the Keystone Keystone Club, it's a leadership opportunity club where you go in and you plan stuff like community service, volunteering, and you actually get to plan your own events for the oh, Keystone Club. Cool. Very cool. So it's almost like a student council yeah. of the Youth Teen Center over there at Camp Humphreys. Am I correct? Basically, yeah. Very cool. So how do we get involved um, with the Keystone Club? Now, to get involved, you have to first be CYSS registered, okay. which you can do over at Building 1127. Parent Central Services. Nicely done. And what are the other qualifications? How old do you have to be to get involved with Keystone Club? You have to be a high schooler. Okay. So it's not an age, but like just 9 through 12. Okay. And um, where are kind of, do you guys do weekly meetings? How do the meetings work with Keystone Club? You do, it's a bi-weekly meeting, so you come every other week, and we meet at the Starbucks over at the PX. And I heard there's kind of an incentive to go to the bi-weekly meetings. What's the incentive? Ooh, you heard right. It's actually, you get free Starbucks for going. Ooh. And we meet at 6 p.m. Can I go? I'm not in high school. If you want to help guide it, then... <laughs> Nice answer. Very um, public affairs-y of you there, Andrew. So definitely check them out. When is the next meeting uh, going on for Keystone Club? Our next meeting will be the 25th of September. Okay, and it's going to be 6 o'clock over at the Starbucks on post. And you also get um, some hours towards volunteering with Keystone Club, right? Yep. Very All meeting hours and any activity you do will count toward volunteer hours. Very cool. So, Stephen, uh, kind of tell us about the uh, other club that we're talking about, Torch Club. What is the Torch Club? Well, the Torch Club is very similar to the Keystone Club. Okay. It has to do mostly like, with middle school. There you are more like prohibited to the youth um, to the youth center. Right. And you like build parties and like do most of the activities there. And with there, you're um, supervised by the um, staff there. Absolutely. So it's a leadership club just for the middle schoolers. This is their opportunity to have a say in what goes on, right? Yes, their time to shine. Exactly. So um, when is the next meeting of the Torch Club going on? Well, I think my entourage here has the date. <laughs> September 24th is what I'm saying. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds Very right. Very cool. September 24th over at Building 427. Mm -hmm. That's the youth center, right? Yep. Am I right? Cool. Uh, yes, and that's going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon. So definitely some great opportunities to get involved if you have a middle school or high schooler over there at Camp Humphreys or if you're listening to this and you're a middle schooler or high schooler, some opportunity to get volunteer hours and some leadership experience. So check them out. Keystone and Torch Club meeting September 24th and September 25th. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Carlos. Hi, my name is Sam. Hi, my name is Giselle. And we, we are, are at the Camp Humphreys Youth Center, and, and you're, you're watching YCTV. YCTV.
Welcome to the Youth Center. I'm Elisa, one of the summer hires at the Youth Center. And the, one of the first things that you have to do when you come in is sign in. Right next to the sign in computer is all of the permission slips for the upcoming events of this current month. All the events for each day are posted on this board at all times. There are four core programs at the Youth Center, art, sports, life skills, and education. This is where our sign-in sheet is for all of our electronic equipment. Our snacks are always posted on this pink circle and the pink circle indicates what kind of snack we are having and what the serving limit is. And make sure to always sign in on our sign-in log before having a snack. So here at the youth center, our hours are posted on the front door. We have a lounge area, a kitchen, a game board section, a computer lab, and three game stations, and a pool table. Camp Humphreys Youth Center is located in Building 427, and the Youth Center can be reached at the DSN 753-5614 or by cell 031-690-5614. I still got Andrew in the seat, but uh, Steven switched out with Kate because Kate just happens to be an expert on what we're talking about next. And do I hear that right, Andrew? Yes, we are joined with Vice President of the, Mo of the Keystone Club slash mock trial participant, Kate Caberti. Slash AFN star, Kate Caberti. Yeah, hello. Welcome, Kate. Hi, hello. <laughs> and um, tell us about this mock trial um, that's going on over at Camp Humphreys. Is this something that you guys do ever so often, every year? How often does this happen? Mock trial is basically seasonal. It happens for about 12 weeks. Uh, oh, wow. We go through the process of how an actual trial works. And then at the end of it, we have an actual trial with an actual judge and um, actual jury. Well, a jury consists of actual lawyers but oh um, wow yes anyone is free to join on the final day very cool so um you guys do you guys come up with a scenario or the scenario is kind of presented and then you guys assign parts to people how does it all work our supervisor, or um, we call him Coach K, Mr. Captain Trent Kabasiak, okay. um, he had given us a student material packet on what the scenario was about. It was, um, yeah, <laughs> he gives us a scenario and we kind of work through it. Um, before, Prior to that, he gives us a lesson as to how the trial works. So you have like the, um, the prosecutor and the defendant yeah. or um, the opening and closing statements. So last time you guys did a mock trial, what role did you play in the trial? I was the first chair um, defendant. Ooh. Andrew Von Weber was the second chair nice. prosecutor. And Stephen Isaacs was the criminal. Ooh, Stephen, a criminal amongst us in the, the studio. So mock trial is coming up, and you guys are going to be having, is this your first meeting? Um, on September 3rd, we will be having our first meeting at the Teen Center, Building 427. Um, it'll be at 7 o'clock. Okay. And this is where you guys are going to kind of talk about what's coming up for the mock trial and start to assign parts and see what everybody wants to do? Yes, ma'am. It's basically an info session of uh, the mock trial. When you come to the meeting, it's not. it doesn't mean you're committed to it. It's just um, to see the, how... It goes basically absolutely see what a mock trial is all about and is this open to everybody that's cys registered or do you guys have certain age groups that the mock trial is open to um there's a certain age group that mock trial is open to it's only open to um high schoolers okay um, so ninth grade and up and um you do not have to be cys registered for the mock trial because um mock trial is basically an after school activity okay cool very awesome so check out the information meeting that's going to be going on wednesday september 3rd and there's also, there's so many clubs over at the Teen Center. You guys are always getting into something. But coming up this fall, you guys are actually going to have some different 4-H clubs available. Andrew, do you know which 4-H clubs you guys got coming up this fall? Yeah, we're doing the Photography Club, Ooh. the Arts and Crafts, Science and, Science and Technology, and Korean Culture and Korean Language together. Oh, that is awesome. Any of those kind of strike your fancy? Any of those that you say, like, hey, I'm totally going to get in on some of that Korean culture. Science and technology all the way. Absolutely. Very cool. So there's going to be an information and sign-up party, and that is happening when? On September 2nd, there will be a sign-up party 
over at the youth center okay building 427 nice to know and that is going on at 4 30 in the afternoon over at the youth center in building 427 so if you want to get involved with some 4-h clubs this fall check that out if you want to get in on mock trial that meeting is going to be wednesday september 3rd stay tuned we're going to talk about some trips coming up with uh andrew steven and kate right here on afnos on the evil don't go away <laughs> Andrew and Steven came back. Yeah. Welcome back, Steven. Well, thank you. We missed you. Yeah, I'm getting up. Like, I'm just a malicious murderer here. So, you know. <laughs> Very cool. We are back um, with the guys talking about uh, some of the cool stuff going on over at the Camp Humphreys um, Teen Center. And you guys have a trip coming up. Tell me about it. Yes, we actually sadly only have one trip this time because of school starting back. Mm -hmm. But we are going to Seoul Tower and the Yangdam Shopping District on mm. the 20th of September. That is a Saturday. That sounds very exciting. Steven, tell me more. So, transportation is provided there. You also have to bring your own money, and you can register at building 1127. Very cool. And, Andrew, do you want to add to that? Yes, there's two things like that. First, um, you have to be a CYSS registered um, youth to go on the trip. Okay. And two... Don't be afraid to bring money to buy Jared Barrick. That is Jared Barrick gifts. He is totally cool with it and actually is expecting, not expecting, but like is totally okay with the idea of gifts. Yeah, I think that's Stephen. Yeah, it is very promoted. He really needs the gifts. Okay, very cool. So we'll make sure that uh, Jared gets hooked up on that trip. When is it going on again? September 20th. That is a Saturday, and there is limited space, and sign-ups are now, so make sure to grab that seat before you leave. Absolutely, and the registration deadline is September 17th, I believe, for that trip. Just go with it. Just go with it, Andrew. <laughs> it is true. Okay. <laughs> and uh, while I have you guys here, we also want to talk about something else that you guys do over at Camp Humphreys, and it's always one of my favorite things to talk about because as a broadcaster, I think it's really cool that you guys have your own TV channel over there. Tell me about YCTV. YCTV is a currently youth-ran TV channel, and what we do is we do filming and editing. And what's cool is we actually do our own planning. So in other words, say we want to film a career corner today. We will plan it out all on our own, pack our own bags, and just do it, run it ourselves. So tell me, what uh, what is a career corner? What's a career corner? Is that one of the segments you guys do? Career corner is a segment where we go and we find adults who have interesting jobs, careers, and we interview them. Very cool. What other kind of segments do you guys do on YCTV? We do a segment called Game On. Okay. Where it features like a gaming thing like um, the other time we played a card game called 99. Strongly recommend it. Like okay. favorite card in the game. And other video games and things like that. And we just play them and have fun. That sounds awesome. And what is, um, Stephen, what would be kind of your favorite segment that you do on YCTV? Is it the game on? We did like a tech tips, which is Ooh. like another um, tutorial thing on like programs and things like that. 
by far the funnest one I've had is on Windows 8. Really? Yeah, that's where me and Andrew pretty much just go through it and have fun. Very cool. Andrew, what's your favorite segment that you get to do on YCTV? My favorite segment is actually another tech tips called Windows 8 Part 2. We're <laughs> oh. back and learn more about Windows 8. That sounds awesome. So um, how long are the shows that you guys do? You guys do shows every month, is it? Every week? We uh, do every month. Really. Every month? And how long is the show that you guys do? We do a 30-minute show. Wow. Which and you- for people that aren't in the business, that takes a lot of production to put into a 30-minute show. Like, you don't just wake up in the morning and do a 30-minute television show. Mm-mm. You guys are, are pretty pretty much a big deal. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, go ahead. What's up? Um, Our show is actually broken up between several segments that we do, such okay. as Tech Tips, Game On, Career Corner, Lingo Swap, and we're doing a new thing called Korean Cafe, which should be out there. Very cool. Where can I see your YCTV show? Um, You can see us on the Garrison Channel. Yep, the MWR over there at uh, Camp Humphreys. You can also see us on Facebook.com slash USAG Humphreys, YouTube.com slash USAG Humphreys, and the Humphreys CYSS Facebook page. Very cool. We'll be back um, to wrap up here with Andrew, Stephen, and Kate with YCTV. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Miss Lani. I'm teaching photography club. I teach the basic things about the, how to use camera, and we take a photo with a free topic and print it out. The photography club is one of the activity in the teen center. It's a club at the teen center that you can come and take pictures with Miss Lani's camera, mostly of outdoors like the garden. Pictures, and then you can edit them with Miss Lonnie, and you can print them out. This one time, we learned how to take multiple pictures at once, and just keep clicking it and make it like motion, and that was really cool, because like people were just like jumping around and flipping around and stuff. Whenever I take a photo, especially drop, dynamic moments like sports, concerts, and animals. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking time out of your extremely busy schedules over there at YCTV to come over and hang out and tell us about all the cool stuff going on. You can find more information about everything we talked about on the Garrison Facebook page, the YouTube channel, and the Humphrey CYSS Facebook page. And you guys got some shout-outs that I know you want to give, so I'm actually going to start with Kate. Shout out to my mother, Ruth Nichols. Hi, mommy. And shout out to my YCTV crew. See you guys. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Kate. Andrew, what shout out you got for me today? I want to give a shout out to my family, John and Loretta Darren Camp. And I want to give a shout out to the Coach K, Mr. Kubizak. Is Wait, Lieutenant Darren Camp is Le- your. Lieutenant Darren Camp, Lieutenant John Darren Camp is my father, yes. <gasps> No, Lieutenant Darren Camp was your dad. Came he, in early today, or he should have. Maybe. No, he did not come in with talent talk. He's been avoiding me. So when you go home tonight, tell him that uh, I'm gonna hold you hostage <laughs> next time until he comes back to talent talk. So very cool. And Stephen, shout wanna, outs. I'm gonna give a shout out to my family, Melon yep. and Hank Isaac, and especially to my brother James Isaac. Very cool. Older or younger brother? Uh, I'm the youngest in my family. Oh, me too. Shout out mm. to younger siblings. Nah, it's not the best thing in the world. <laughs> Very cool. So um, thank you guys for coming in. You guys were awesome. You're welcome back anytime.